Hey there YouTube, this is Polarbert084 here, back again with another episode of A Bear's Guide to Hunting. Uh, now believe it or not, this is the third, fourth time I've tried this guy. Um, first time he refused to die, second time he took way too long to die. I mean it was 40 something minutes. Um, um, and then I tried fighting him again. Um, the reason it took way too long uh, is because I was using a different weapon. The weapon I originally beat him with was the um, Yangaruga version of a, sh of a sword and shield. Um, I Honestly, the name has escaped me, and I mean entirely. So, um, I'll just tell you the name of this. It's the Thunderbane. Um, it has an attack of 168, Thunder Attribute 170. It has a, s a good amount of green sharpness for where we are. I've still got Hermitor armor as well, and I forgot to eat, um, which is always good. We'll be fine. Um, but yeah, honestly, it took about 40 minutes, and it was way, way too long for a, a YouTube episode. So I decided not to use it. Whoa, giant monster. Um, so yeah, this is what we're fighting today. This is the Monobloss. Um, the reason the Angaruga sword was not that good was because it didn't have an element. I remember telling you in episode 2 that elements would very soon become entirely useful, and it's true. Um, the Monobloss is weak to thunder on the tail, and when you cut off the tail, don't worry, you can still do the damage. You just have to hit the tail stub instead of the actual tail. Um, I hate Cephalos. Oh, he got stuck in the wall. Fantastic. Alright, I'll talk about this then since he's done it already. Um, you can get it, make him stick in the wall with that incredibly long horn of his. All you do is wait for him to charge and then leap out the way. He's got to hit it head on though. He can't scrape past it. He has to properly hit it. Otherwise, it doesn't do anything. Um, but yeah, the Angaruga only had um, 210 attack. Whereas this has 168, yeah, but it has 170 thunder as well, which it's weak against. So hopefully this shouldn't take nearly as long. Hopefully. That's that's the plan anyway. That's the well organized and thought out plan. We'll see how it goes. Um yeah, well I am going to put up the other video. I'll put the link in the description as a as a kind of bonus for you guys. Um, I thought it'd be a good idea. My wife actually suggested it, um, and I thought, yeah, why not? Why not? You know, it's a great idea. So I'll put a link in the video to it. It won't be listed. It won't be in the playlists. Um, it'll just be you can only get to it through the link. Um, it'll be a secret bonus video to those of you who watch this um, watch this episode. It is 40 minutes long. I'll warn you now, but um, I go over everything about the monobloss. I'll probably go over it again here. Ow. Um, but you know, watching me getting beaten up is always good fun, so if you enjoy it, why not? Go have a look. I know a couple of people watching that will definitely like to see that. And yes, I am talking to you. Um, so anyway, back to the Monobloss. Um, he does a lot of damage. He's more, the most damaging one you'll have fought yet, I believe. Um, next to Tiger X, he's the most horrible one you'll be fighting in this quest set. Ow. Um... Um, yeah, that's quite quite funny there. Um, his roar is so high pitched it just threw a cephalos out from underneath the ground. He does that. Um, it needs airplug plus to be able to stop it. Um, so if you don't have it, get it. But in all honesty, you don't need it. Just get something that can block. It's all you need. And just be a, be ready to block when he's going to roar, and you'll be fine. A um, few things you need to know about the monoblocks is that. Um, his charging and his underground attack are his favourite things to do. You'll spend half your time chasing after him, the other half the time running away from him. Um, and the worst part is, is you can't do anything to him, to him when he's underground at all. You just have to sit around like a dummy and wait. And wait. And wait. And wait. And carve. And then he runs off into another area. See? It's really annoying. Um, so yeah, really just watch out for those. The jump, the underground attack is his most powerful. So if he is underground, make sure that you are as far away from him as possible. Um, it's easy to tell where he's going to come up though. Because if you, if you focus on where he went underground and watch, 
um, a plume of dust will follow the direction he goes in, and he only goes in a straight line underground. I have no idea why, but he only does. So, ah, so make sure that you're running around that spot in circles. You don't even need to be sprinting, just normal jogging will do. Um, and yeah, and then you, then he'll just shoot up out of the ground and you can just start wailing on him again. Um, something about the charge you need to notice as well, you may have noticed there. If you're um, between his legs, he's more than likely not going to hit you with it. I don't know how he got me with that. If you're in front of him though, you'll be dead. Yeah, no two ways about it. Have you seen the size of that horn? You're dead. As long as you, as long as you block, you'll be fine. But if you don't, you're just gone. You can avoid his charge by running to the side. Ah. But that's only when he's not enraged. When he is enraged, you have to do a running jump. There's no other way to get out of the way of it. Either that or block. Um, a tip when blocking, actually, you can actually dictate which way you get thrown by blocking in a certain way. It's easier with greatswords, because you know when you get hit really hard with a greatsword. You fly backwards, then you steady yourself, and then you ready your sword. Um, if you aim yourself in a diagonal way to where he is, Say if he's coming at me where that gen prey is and I did this, I'd get hit backwards and then I'd be well out of the way of any other attack he'd be throwing at me. Next time I use a greatsword, I'll go over that again. It's pretty useful though. Um, it's a very useful tip. And it's very, very handy against some of the harder ones like Learn Lanustra and um, let's see, Teostra of course. Um, very good against Kushala Deora as well. All of which, all of the above, are Elder Dragons. We'll be moving on to Elder Dragons soon. Um, we'll be doing the Tiger X before that though. I am going to count the Tiger X as an Elder Dragon just because of how difficult it is. I mean seriously, this Tiger X is the most hated monster in this game. Although actually, they do get harder. But he's the most hated normal monster in this game, I must admit. The rest are all Elder Dragons. And Plessio. Um, but yeah, so watch out for his dig jump. The raw just guard um, is all a lot worse when he's um, enraged because he takes about half the time to do it and then he can just bowl you over. Um, the charge has two different endings on it as well, I might add. Um, he can either just skid into you and send you about 30 meters flying or um, he can thrust upwards with his horn, but he's never ever hit me with it. Even in the past four or five tries that I've been doing this guy, he still hasn't hit me with it. So I have no idea how much damage it does, unfortunately. So but that hopefully that means you won't be able to you know you won't be able to know either. It's probably best that you can't hit you with the thing to be honest. And if you hadn't noticed, yes he is enraged. Black smoke is pouring from his mouth. Um, and he has those two red bands on his crest, the above his head, um, which means that he's very, very fast, and he does a lot of damage. I mean, you see all that damage? I mean, I was fully healed a second ago. He did that by standing on me. He hasn't even hit me yet. He's just been standing on me, but apparently that's enough. That was lucky, because I think I was going to get hit by that. Yeah, I'll be honest, Monobloss does most of his damage silently by knocking you over um, instead of actually charging into you or whatever. Just by treadmilling or standing on you or sending you flying with the back of his tail. You know, just unnoticeable things like that. But um, I must admit, this is going better because I'm staggering him a hell of a lot more than I did in the other one. I mean, seriously, I was chasing this guy. I went to almost every area on the map following this guy, trying to kill him. It was pretty bad. You guys will see when I upload it. Wow. Wow at that. Um, I do have some Sonic Bombs with me. I'll show you what to do with those in a moment. Um, but Actually, perfect timing. I'll show you now. Um, when he's not enraged, throw one when he's under underground, and this happens. It's basically like a pitfall trap. Um, it's, which is useful because pitfall traps don't work against the monoblast. No idea why. Maybe it's just too big. And of course I need to sharpen. What a waste of a solid bomb. Oh well. Things happen. Let's see here. 
Ah, so yeah, that um, shock traps will still work, but if he digs beneath them, be warned, they will break. They will full on break. And then you've wasted quite some good materials. Trap tools are annoying, and of course, to make a shot trap, you need a gem break bag. So they'll become your new best friend if you start trying to make yo's. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, um, also um, on the comments from my Yangaruga video, um, Jellyfishman567 was asking about breakables, and um, which to an extent also uh, um, means capturing as well, although he didn't know that, so I will, I will enlighten you. And anyone else who doesn't know, I'm sure this will help. Um, but basically, breakables um, are the certain parts on a monster's body that if you do enough damage to them, they will shatter. For example, I did enough damage to his tail, so I actually cut that off. If I did enough damage to his wing claw, you see just there, to his wings, the claw would break, and there's a chance I'd get a, um, a monoblast wing, I think. Um, it's better to explain with the Yangaruga, to be honest, because everything you can break on it means you can get something from it. For example, if I broke the wing claw on the Yangaruga, I would get his wing. If I broke the beak, which I did in my, um, in my episode, I would get a sharpened beak. I think it's a sharpened beak. It may have been a majestic beak. Um, you guys feel free to check and let me know. Um, I'm pretty sure it was sharpened though. But yeah, that's how you get some of the rare items. And all of them you'll need to make either the armor or the weapons. So if you know what part you need to break to get the item, you have a much better chance of getting it. And therefore making the weapon and the armor you want to use. Um, there's another way of increasing the chance as well. Um, so when you break it, there's a small chance you'll get it in the rewards. But... If you capture the monster after breaking it, for example, um, if I broke Monoblos's horn and then captured him, there's a very high chance I would get a blood red horn, which is nice because apparently I can't find any other way to get it. I need it for almost every piece of armor this guy has and the weapons, and yet I just can't do it. Really. Physically can't. No way I can get his horn at all. It's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, it, it further increases the chance. And to capture something, you put them in a trap. I don't know if sonic bombing counts on the Monoblos. I could always double check, but I don't think it does. I don't think it would. But if you um, shock trap a Monoblos and then throw three trank bombs at it, that should work. He's got to be very close to death though. I mean, either he's limping or he is um, gets enraged in one hit. That doesn't. He's not weak right now. Trust me. I can almost promise you that. He just likes to be enraged a lot. Um, so yeah, those are his weakness signs. Whether he's, either he's limping or he gets enraged um, stupidly easily. Another good way to tell is if they're asleep. If you go into a area and you find the monster asleep, that means that they were close to death. It doesn't mean that they are, because in sleeping they regain some energy and some health. Uh, it's like when you go back to base camp and then sleep on the bed there. Now you recover all your health, you recover from status ailments and all that. Um, so yeah, don't try and capture it from sleep. Always do a bit of damage first and then put it in the trap and throw a few trank bombs at it. And you should, should be sitting pretty. So that's um, that's pretty much my all my knowledge on breakables and capturing and all that. It's just a way to get the better items that you'll always need. They're always really hard to get, and they're always the one that they like asking for. So yeah, that's that's what they that's what they used for. It's a good it's a good um, tell of how much damage you're doing as well. If you you know if you end up fighting a battered husk of a wyvern, that means you're doing well. Um, so yeah, that's that, really. Um, earlier, he did get stuck in a war as well, actually. Um, I don't know if you guys remember. I'll try and make it happen again if he goes into an area I can do it in. Number seven is the best for it, because there's that um, sort of rock in the centre of the area. If you stand in front of that, wait for him to get really close and then run and jump out of the way. Um, his horn will get stuck, and then he, you can just wail on him, really. And there's a chance he'll drop a shiny which is always nice. More than likely going to be Y tiers. But as the quests get harder and you fight him in high rank, there's a chance he'll drop a Monoblast heart. No idea why, but there is. Which is another hard one to get. It's like the Rathalos Ruby 
and the um, Rathian really it ridiculously difficult to get. Um, so if he does drop it in the shiny, lucky you, because it's never done it to me, ever. But yeah, honestly, if you are taking on this guy, I would recommend making the Thunder Pain. I honestly don't know why I didn't. I have no idea. It's a lot better. Uh -oh. I would recommend a Sword and Shield just because you're going to want to be able to block. Um, but if you are trying to break the horn, for example, um, I would say either a long sword, the Eagle Cleaver was good, or some kind of equivalent hammer. I don't know what the equivalent hammer is because I don't use hammers. I just don't get along with them. Maybe I should start using them. Maybe. I don't know. I just never liked them. I mean, yeah, they're really strong, but also they leave you open to so many attacks. I just, no. Can't agree with them. Also, you can't cut off things' tails with hammers. I didn't like that. But yeah, honestly, using electric weapons is very satisfying because every time you hit, you see a blue spark and you get the noise as well. So at least you know you're doing something. It's nice. Yes, thank you. Sometimes the cat will try to hit you out of trance, but most of the time it ends up making it worse. Oi. I only need to paintball him, actually. It's a good thing I noticed before he left the area. And he's enraged. Bad time to throw a paintball. Ooh. Wow. Wow, like that. I could do that a second time if I tried. I, I don't... I need to sharpen again? Like, this thing has alright green sharpness. It's kind of low. Um, do I dare sharpen while he's like this? Yes, I do. That was not a clever idea. Move, move. Uh, okay, that was that was lucky. Just ignore the um, ignore the worried screams there. Everything's good. He's no longer enraged, so I'm going to sonic bomb again if I get the chance. I am sorry if some of my words seem to blend together. I don't know why I do that. It's just something I've done. I'm noticing it more and more the more I do this. But yeah, sometimes I just forget that one word ends and the other begins. It's not like I do it on purpose. I think. I have no idea. But I've just been noticing it. Maybe because I'm still recovering from the cold. Possibly. But I think I've done it when I didn't have it as well. No idea why I do. No, not the wits. Um, don't. I meant the potion. Potion. Okay, run, run, run. Okay, safe. I must admit, Monobloss is one of the more annoying ones because sometimes he will just refuse to die, like he did last time in the bonus video I'll be putting on for you guys. And honestly, sometimes he just won't die. It'll take you 40, 50 minutes, and then eventually he will crumble. Um, and other times he will... Actually, you know what? No. Forget that. He always refuses to die. He's not like some monsters where you can have a good run where you kill it in under, like, say, what, 15 minutes? And then a bad one where you take 50 minutes. This one just doesn't ever like to die. Ever. Um, something I mentioned in the other recording as well. I should probably mention it here, just in case, you know, just in case you don't go and watch it. Because I can understand not wanting to watch 40 minutes of nigh on the same thing again. Um, basically, uh, after I do the Tiger X video, which is coming up soon, it's only one video away after this. Um, when I do that, I will be giving YouTube a break because I'm going to be moving and it's quite a big move. Uh, it's been taking a lot of planning as it is, it's going to take a lot more as well. Um, so I think it would be best if I stopped recording until I have moved into the new house, settled down, got all of that sorted out, and then I can give you a sort of, you know, stable recording schedule, something like once a week, instead of leaving you wondering for about three or four weeks when the next one's coming out. Um, just, you know, I, I think it would be better that way. I'd be able to get my head together and all that, because there's going to be a lot going on. So yeah, after the Tiger X video, I will be pausing for a while and then 
when I move back in, I promise I will continue. Sorry, these guys have been really, really irritating me. On every take, every take, these guys have been here. Kicking my backside. See? You know what, actually, it's not worth the time. Just focus on the big one. Again. It is annoying having something with such limited green sharpness. There isn't really much you can do about it though. It has good elemental attack, it is well worth it. I, I do believe that, it's really worth it. And the maneuverability is good too. I don't know what you need to make this weapon. I'll add it in the description. Um, um, it's pretty much, I think it's just stuff like Thunderbug juice perhaps, maybe? Is it things like that? I hope not. Oof, that looked like it hurt. He just dragged the Cephalos out of the sand with his horn. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's, it's dead. Good. That's one last one to worry about. Mega Potion. Whoever invented the Mega Potion needs a very, very firm handshake. Impossible even a hug. Ah, there we go. Fantastic. You see, I told you sometimes you just need the right weapon. Elements are all important now. If you don't have at least one of every element, do try to get them. Because you're going to use them. I promise you that much. It doesn't all have to be in the same weapon class. As a matter of fact, I'd kind of advise that they're not. Um, just so that you're kind of multifunction, you know. Because some some monsters you're going to want to be able to guard. Some monsters you're just going to want to be able to hammer on as much as possible. But yeah, there you go. One dead monoblos. And in almost half the time as the last take. I will add it as a bonus video, like I've been saying. Um, I'm sure it will be entertaining for you guys to watch. Me just follow this guy around and around and then get thrown about 50 meters but yeah you know I will add it don't worry it sure will make for some good watching um, but like I was saying watch out for the dig jump uh, it's his most powerful attack and when he's enraged it does pretty much an entire health bars worth of damage um, the charge is irritating as well because he follows you like Balderones do so um, either bring a blocking weapon or make sure you can run and jump when he does it He's only really annoying at that when he is enraged, in all honesty. Um, so just be careful of that. Be very, very careful. Um, again, if you like this video, um, don't forget to leave a like. I always like to see them. Um, and if you have anything you think I need to improve on, uh, anything at all, let me know. Just comment, PM, whatever you want to do. And of course, if you want to subscribe, go ahead. It's entirely up to you. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, so yeah, don't forget, bring a thunder weapon. If, when you watch the bonus video, you will, sh you will be shown just how vital elements are now. Um, but yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys had fun. Uh, I've been Polar Bear 084. I'll see you again soon.